Hey guys, this is Jim K and 4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So today I want to take a look at the GC5 series from Radiodity. This is a amateur radio band radio transmit receive on um, VHF, UHF, as well as receive on standard FM. It comes with a manual, obviously, and uh, pretty much most of the usual things. You can charge this off of cradle charger it does not have USB charging in any form or fashion. It has to charge on the cradle, which is good or bad, I guess, depending on how you look at it. It comes with an FBI earpiece, and it has a belt clip and everything else you'd need there to charge it. The radio fits in your hand really nicely. This is rated as waterproof, so what they tell you is that's why the battery hatch is screwed down. So it will be a little inconvenient to change out batteries. You'd have to have a screwdriver to get to that battery hatch and undo it. In the manual, it's pretty straightforward. Don't use this in the shower. Don't lick the shiny metal parts. There's the safety stuff and the regulatory warnings. And then it talks about how to charge it and so on and so forth. Um, the main features, of course, here we go. This is what I wanted to find. FM radio for United States, 78 to 108 and then transmit and receive on the two hand bands. It has memories, it scans, it does DTMF. You can put a power on password in it. It has a programmable repeater offset. It has an LED flashlight, Roger beep. You also can get US and Canada NOAA weather radio reception. And it is dual watch, dual reception. Um, I don't know if that means full frontal duplex or not, but we're not going to test it with that today. Uh, programmable illumination via the keyboard. The menu system in it works pretty much like a standard Baofeng. You turn it on, you hit menu, scroll to what you want, hit menu again, make the change, hit menu to save it, and you're back out. I got this because this is $30 on... Welcome. Frequency mode. And it sounds like the Baofeng lady. This is $30 on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link to an a affiliate link in the description below so you can pick one of these up if you're interested. This is the GC5 model and so what we're going to do today is do a little bit of testing on it. It has all the standard radio features and there's nothing special about any of that. You can read all about that in the manual which is pretty straightforward. Time to charge, how to charge. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to hook it up to a SWR and power meter and let's take a look at the power output and the SWR on this particular radio. Okay, we're set up here. I said I was going to do SWR, but it, it comes with a rubber duck antenna, which is somewhere between okay and terrible. You're not buying this specifically for the antenna anyway. Let's see what the power is. This is set on high, and we are on UHF high. So 2.6 watts. I'm transmitting into a dummy load here. Let's switch to VHF and 3.3 on high power. All right, let's knock to low power and take a look at that on both bands. All right, VHF high power, or low power, excuse me, low power, one watt, and let's pop over to VHF, and this is on low power, 0.46 watts on VHF. So, there's our power tests of what the radio puts out, the ratings on the radio. Okay, here are our tech specifications on it. Of course, I already mentioned the frequencies. It's rated at five watts on high and two watts on low. I'm gonna say that's a bit of marketing hype on that one because we were nowhere near five watts. On high power straight into this meter, we were only getting about three, two and a half to three. That is the tech specs. And what we're going to do now is take it inside to the shack and we're going to hook it up on the spectrum. An we're going to hook this up on the spectrum analyzer. Okay, guys, so we've got this set up now and we're looking at the Regal Ultra Spectrum software. This is connected over here to the spectrum analyzer that's right down yonder. You can't see it. It's slightly off camera. And then here is our radio. This is the Radiotity GC5 that we're talking about in this video. So we are sweeping from 140 megahertz to one gigahertz, and we're going to sweep uh, on the VHF call frequencies, what we're going to use as our primary frequency. So what this is going to show us is down here, this will show us 
the values, the peak values in dB. Now I'm using a 30 dB attenuator on the spectrum analyzer and the radio is on low power. All right. So that's how that's set up right now. So what we've got is our radio on 146.52. The spectrum analyzer is set up and we are ready to click it. We are sweeping with a 30 kilohertz sweep, which means that's our bandwidth that we're resolving down to a 30 kilohertz window. And we're moving that 30 kilohertz window across the screen to see what our values are. So what I'm going to do is it's already on continuous mode. I've got all the settings ready to go. So we're going to key up and see what she does. And that is ugly. Wow, is that ugly. So over here on the left is our primary frequency at 145, 733 is what's showing up. And then, uh, and these values are not in megahertz. They're in scientific notation. So this is our primary frequency. This should be our third harmonic, our fifth harmonic, and our seventh harmonic. And wow, that is uglier than ugly. So our primary is at minus 30 dBm. Our second harmonic, which should be the third harmonic, is minus 38 dBm, only 8 dBm lower. Then our next peak is at minus 64 which is still not in spec. And then our fourth peak uh, is at minus 67. So that is only 37 dB lower than the primary. And you can see here that this is the problem child for real. And these are not within standard of the FCC guidelines, regulations, whatever you want to call them. This radio is not legal for transmitting on, on uh, uh, VHF at all. I'm not even going to test UHF. I guess we could. Let me jump over to UHF. Doesn't really matter. All right. So we're on UHF. Let's keep up and see what it looks like. And we're sweeping from 400 megahertz to 1.5 gigahertz. And there's our primary and the additional harmonics, which are, as you can see, well below uh, 43 dB, which is a reference or 40 dB which is a reference that does not apply to UHF. That only applies to everything from 220 megahertz down uh, to 30. And so UHF is legal because there is no spec for it. But VHF was pretty terrible. Guys, that's going to be all there is for this video. I, uh, at this point, cannot recommend the Radiodity GC10, or GC5, excuse me, GC5. Because this thing is uh, horrible. It's one of the worst radios I've ever seen. This might beat the Abri AR869 as far as a dirty radio. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great day. 73. See ya.